All right. <clears throat> what I'm showing you is a couple cells that I've built. These are uh, EBN type dry cells. Um, they are slightly different as they are prototypes. They're slightly different than the first offerings from EBN, um, but as part of research and development, um, I, I work with some of the things that are up and coming and some of the possibilities, and that's what I'm working on. This is the most similar thing that I have to what EBN will be releasing. This is a 36 plate version. They will be releasing a 21 plate version um, for exper experimenters. The end plates, the plastic end plates uh, that I'm using here are not the same as what will be coming out. Um, these are, uh, what is it, polyethylene. The ones that they will be using are much better, they're much more rigid, they don't get as much uh, deflection when you tighten the bolts as this does. Um, and they'll be made out of PVC and much better made. These are just cut by hand, drilled by hand, um, so it's not a production type thing. It's a, This is completely prototype. Um, to show you some of the aspects of it. Um, the gasketing is neoprene gaskets. Um, they do have some amount of squish to them or deflection or, or compression. When tightening a cell of this type, um, it is very important to maintain even plate spacing from every single plate. Um, I haven't gone through this much technicality in most of my videos. Uh, most of them are are for people that I've already spoken with, so they're, they're more of a visual aid, um, but this is directed at just about everybody who's watching the video, so I hope this explains a few things. The distance from plate to plate is highly important to the efficiency of the cell. The closer the distance, the more efficient the cell can operate at. Um, the electricity does not have to travel as far through the electrolyte um, to get to the other side and therefore it's it's less resistance and less resistance is a good thing in these cells. Um, there is a certain amount of realism that you can achieve with that as you see on this six inch plate. Here's an eight inch gasket. Um, get that out. When you lay it on there it creates a small space, a sixteenth of an inch from plate to plate that distance needs to be maintained so that the optimum voltage for the entire assembly is also optimum for each individual cell. A cell is technically any distance between any two conductors in which you're passing electricity through an electrolyte. So this is actually 35 cells all stacked together the way it's configured here. Um, this would be called, uh, also known as a series cell. Um, the difference is a parallel cell is positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. This is also similar to that because it still has a positive, negative, however your connections are series. You have a connection at this one, you have a connection at this one, and the rest of the plates get their connection through the electrolyte. So the, the connection points are series versus a parallel which would have a connection on every plate. Um, if these two plates here are closer together than other plates within the system, its optimum voltage is going to be slightly different than the optimum voltage of the rest of the cell. So the more uniform you can keep your distance, the better um, you will be able to run the cell at its efficient point. When tightening a cell of this type with the gaskets um, of, of this material, the uh, neoprene, it's important to pay attention to how much torque you put to it. <clears throat> we haven't specifically released a torque figure yet. Um, for simplicity, I use my nice little Milwaukee 12 volt lithium ion. I set it to a setting of four, and that's it. Now, this is a very, very low torque setting. It, I mean, it, it's not applying very much force at all. 
but there is not a lot of force needed to seal these cells and keep them from leaking. In fact, a very minimal amount of force is needed um, given the gasket material. This gasket material is, is very um, sticky per se, and once you bolt this cell together and then take it apart, taking it apart is actually kind of difficult because the gasket material actually sticks to the stainless steel surface and inherently seals it. it it's a very good design in that respect. Um, but as far as uh, inch-pounds of force, I do not have an inch-pound torque wrench on me and it doesn't even register on my foot-pound, but I can tighten it still by hand if I really crank on it. I mean, I still have some tight tightening that I can do. But it doesn't need a whole lot of force. The, the force is spread evenly throughout the bolt pattern and the gaskets by the just simple properties that they exhibit seal quite nicely. Um, also, I've had people ask me, why do I use two ports, um, on one, or two on either side? That's just a personal preference. It's, it's nothing specific. It works just fine with ports on one side. Um, I do it, again, for experimental reasons. Um, just testing different configurations, overdriving the cell, things of that nature. 